Hey guys, it's your boy Dope Snare. Um, today I thought I'd take a look at the Waves H Comp compressor and uh, give a quick tutorial on how I, I compress my drums. Um, I found a way that works and uh, it's pretty helpful. Uh, it was for me anyways. Kind of haven't changed it since I found this out. But uh, I have this beat and uh the drums are kind of weak and um thought i'd beef them up with some compression so i'll play the beat and load up a compressor on the kick and we'll get started So the trick for kicks and snares is to set an attack time of 30 milliseconds, roughly. Um, I find that lets the attack through and beefs up the drum, the release. I keep it 100-ish uh, just because it, it works. I don't know if it's 100% correct, but um, it works great. And like just with the default, you can hear the beef, beefed up drum. Uh, it might be a little too much or you might want to do it a little more or a little less but uh, I'm gonna dial it into my taste that's about right now with the H comp compressor this isn't a hundred percent review this is more of a tutorial but over here i uh, have analog off and then you have four models one two three four so it's kind of like four compressors excuse me it's like four compressors in one we'll go with off which is just like straight i guess like a digital sound and i'll go through them um and remark on what i what i find Okay, well, I don't know if you could hear a difference, and to be honest, it's hard to hear a difference even for me in my headphones. Uh, this is more apparent on snares or when on a on a drum bus with the kick and snare. You could hear the character change much more clearly. But like one and four seem to be more open clarity or whatever, with digital being the cleanest. Two is a good mix of warm and and, and clarity. And three is the most vintage, warmest sound, which I use a lot. So it won't be surprised if this ends up on three. But for right now, one sounds best to my ear. Um, this kick drum is good to go. Uh, it doesn't have EQ, but I mean for compression, 
Maybe this is where I want it. I might turn it up a bit and move on to the snare. It's bypassed. That's an improvement, so that's what we're going for, right? Move on to the snare. Bypassed with compression. Not a huge difference in my headphones, but um, in the bigger picture, these things add up. Take it off solo. Bring in the music, actually. finish off uh, this, the sound um, we're going to side chain the kick and even the snare to the sample actually we're going to we're going to side chain the whole the whole drum group to duck the sample a bit because there's quite a bit of bass in the sample which is flashing with the kick so we want to duck it a bit my favorite for that is Native Instruments Supercharger it comes with most it comes with the machine the micro the mk3 the studio etc uh, i think it's pretty it's it's not stock but uh they do include it in a lot of their packages so hopefully you have it if you don't lots of compressors can do this my favorite you hit this you load it up on oops i should take that off sorry uh put it on the group you could put it on the sound but it's, it's best to do on groups for me Load up the supercharger, make sure the side chain's on. Go to side chain input, pick group B, dial it in. that it pretty much concludes my little tutorial of how to compress drums with a little bonus of a side chaining your sample with your drums so uh, your dreams are your drums are punchy and uh, they cut through cut through the bass the sample whatever instrumentation if this wasn't a sampled beat that would be your you'd have all your instruments on one channel or your, with including your bass or whatever and you, you can do the side chaining to your instrument happen to be sample based so how I rock. But I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, this was a game changer for me. Um, 
I hope you appreciate it. Thanks. Peace.